Roberta Profeta. I'm here with my friend Fabrizio Capobianco, Funambo. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. So we've, we've been enjoying ourselves right now. Um, do you find any differences between what's happening here now and what happens in the US in similar situations? Well, I live in Silicon Valley. I've been there for the last uh, 12 years, and, uh, but I'm Italian. So I can say that this is the best of Silicon Valley. Uh, it is like Silicon Valley because the things people are talking about are the same we hear in the Valley. The uh, speakers, the questions, the interactivity, all shows of things that fly. The difference is that the food is a lot better. Okay, yeah, the food is much better over here. Um, now, you've mentioned the fact that you've been living in the U.S. in Silicon Valley uh, for the for the past 12 years. Now, have you seen any changes? And if so, what changes have you seen occurring in the startup scene and in the innovation area in Italy? So I started my first company in uh, Italy in 93, 94. It was the first web company called Internet Graffiti. So I have some experience of how hard it was to start companies, start a startup when I was 23. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, there were no venture capitalists. There were, or there were very little. Uh, there was no networking. There was no frontiers of interaction. There was no web. And uh, I moved to Silicon Valley after doing another startup in 99 uh, because I felt the Valley had something to offer to me to be able to build a company like Google. Mm -hmm. Today, you'd say like Facebook or, or something like that. And I felt Italy was kind of problematic. I kept all the engineers in Italy. So Funambo has 50 engineers. The entire R&D is in Italy because I felt the Italian creativity is so good and the engineers, the designer of the software were so good that it doesn't make sense to put it anywhere on the planet. And Italy, in my opinion, is the best place on the planet to build software. But for capital, networking, uh, exits, uh, Silicon Valley was the place to be. And I've seen the last uh, few years, uh, you know, I'm involved in Mind the Bridge and a lot of other uh, initiatives to bring Italians to Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. that now you do networking in Italy. There are events like Frontiers Interaction. There is venture capital. The last, uh, even three years, the explosion of startups, events, funding is just staggering. So I think that we, compared to where we were before, in the last few years, we are just expanding at a speed, then I think eventually what is my dream, which is to create a Silicon Valley in Italy, will come true. Exactly. This is, about, this is what I'm thinking as well. And, and I find that the startups we have here in Italy are amazing. Indeed, um, possibly this is, this is something people are not that aware of. But we have um, actually come across some, some pretty good examples uh, in the past few months. And, and I'm sure you agree, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as at Funambul, we demonstrated that we could build the software used by millions of people, raise $30 million in venture capital, even as Italians. I've seen a lot of other startups doing very similar things. We're missing someone who gets funded. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to do right now is to make sure that we get you know, more startups that get funding. And what we really need is one big success that is the Facebook in Italy goes worldwide. And I think we're going to get it in the next five years. Okay, Fabrizio, thank you so much, and thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.